Hey everybody, it's Eric Paffenfuss. It's Friday, so it must be a bye day, and we're coming to you live from Northford, Connecticut, from the book barn. Come on in and see what we've been doing. For the last several days, we've been boxing up tens of thousands of books, all of which are coming to Harrisburg and the Midtown Scholar. We boxed so many books, it was hard to find just three for today's episode, but we did it. And I wanna show you the best and most exciting finds. First off, here's a rather nondescript book, but if you open it up, you'll see inside, it's got a copy of Charles Dickens's American Notes from 1842. It's published along with four or five other pirated editions because when Dickens came to America in 1842, one of the things he complained about was American copyright law or the lack thereof. American publishers would just pirate his books and he would get no royalties whatsoever. This was actually published by Harper in 1842. And within 24 hours of the book arriving by boat in New York Harbor, three different editions had already been published of American Notes. In American Notes, Dickens was not kind to Harrisburg. Let me read you what he wrote. He wrote, at length, however, we emerged upon the streets of Harrisburg, whose feeble lights reflected dismally from the wet ground and did not shine out upon a very cheerful city. Thanks, Charles. Well, we found that book. Then, up in the rafters, at the highest point, way up there, we found an amazing book, Chaucer's Collected Works. And not only is it a beautiful English edition with a wonderful frontispiece of Chaucer, here you can see it here, but it was the first edition of Chaucer to be published in Roman type as opposed to Gothic type, which made the book even more accessible. And did you know Chaucer, as the greatest English writer before Shakespeare, was famous for being the first person to use thousands of English words, including the word box. And where would we be without Chaucer? coining that word. Finally, a funny book, Water Babies. It's not just about giving birth, it's a lifestyle for your baby. The book seriously argues that rather than dogs or cats, toddlers should be trained as fish with their best friends. And on top of that, if you put a toddler in the water early enough, their eyesight improves and they can even learn to read underwater. We'll see you next Friday for three more books on Bi-Day Friday.